welcome again to my video and today we're going to be overclocking the GTX 275 for the win edition let's run the GPU Z to confirm the stock clocks of the GPU and the core clock is 713 memory is 1260 shader is 1512 so this is the factory OC edition GPU we have here other additional information like the bandwidth of the memory, bus width, texture fill, fill rate, pixel fill rate, memory type, memory size, etc. So now I'm gonna show you the clocks that I will be using for overclocking. It will be 780 for the core. 1654 for the memory is auto set it as you can see the option link is enabled the in-memory code will be 1400 and we're gonna run the fan speed at the 100% because this is the stock cooler so it's not really uh, good for cooling down your GPU it's not cooling your GPU well So let's talk a little bit what configuration I will be using for testing the GTX 275. The CPU is Q6600, it's overclocked to 3.2 GHz. The memory is from Jail and the Patriot, which are all DDR2 of course. And clocked at 800, overclocked to 900. And the timings are, for now, 55513, as I think. The motherboard will be EPGA 780i and the GPU will be of course the GTX 275 stock cooled. The power supply is Molecon Volcano 650 watts. The hard drives are Western Digital Caviar AAKS 250 gig 60 max of cache in rate 0 250 gig each. So let's talk a little bit about the programs that we'll be using for benching. The first program will be pretty much advantage and I will show you first of all the stock cool stock clock. Um, result and then the overclocked result. This will be also with the Far Cry benchmark and the Crisis Warhead benchmark. So let's see first result of the March advantage. So there will be a little change in the clocks because I was testing it for a while and it was working as double 1400 MHz and just down to, uh, down to uh, 1320 MHz in the memory run stable. So for the not overclocked GTX 605 the results are 9574 points, the GPU score is 8484 points and the CPU score is 35167 points. So with overclock we get 10340 points. The GPU score is 9137 9, points and the CPU score is 38181. So, a little bit increase in performance, not much, but a little. So, the Far Cry 2 benchmark, and we're gonna see what settings we're gonna use uh, because I've not noticed a big difference be between free loops and one loops. There will be only one loop to make this benchmark faster. The resolution will be 9020 by 1080. Direct X10, everything on ultra high. Direct X10, and the anti leasing will be set to X8. That's the settings that I'm that I'm gonna use for the for testing the GPU. So with the not overclocked GTX 275 for the Win Edition, we're getting 37 frames per second. The maximum frame rate is 60 or even 61. The minimum frame rate was 24, almost 25 frames. So with the overclocked GTX 275 we're getting additional frame in maximum average frame rate. The maximum frame rate is 58, so 2, uh, two frames per second lower than the normal stock clocks and the minimum frame rate is 27. That's pretty strange, but it is like it is. So now it's time for the Crisis Warhead benchmark. The display resolution is 9020 by 1080. 
there will be three demo loops the map will be avalanche we're gonna set enthusiast settings also direct x10 with no anti-aliasing so again with not overclocked gtx 275 we're getting minimum of 20 frames per second maximum of 41 frames per second and an average of 29 frames per second almost 30 frames per second so with the overclock GTX 275 we're getting the minimum of 20 frames per second maximum of 43 frames per second almost 44 and average of 31 frames per second so that's pretty nice results so thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed this video if you want to see more computer hardware just subscribe to my channel also watch my other videos there are a lot more of the computer hardware my computer history and the uh, games gameplay there also will be a new videos upcoming uh, like the video review of Modicon Volcano 1000 watt power supply and there will be also a review of GTX 275 in SLI because I will be getting one near future so thank you for watching and remember to subscribe